But Israel has come back over and over again. Israel is the comeback kid. Israel exists in the fines of history. Longfellow wrote a poem back before the days of Zionism in Israel that said, I looked at all these sad graves and said, it's such a shame. You know, these Jews, they read the book, they read everything backward. And from their point of view, everything is going to come back now, but sadly, it's not the way it is. We read in English, and that which once was shall be no more. The, pay, the books aren't going to be read the other way. And look, here's Israel, and we're reading everything the other way. Because Israel has made a comeback. Israel is predictably unpredictable. Israel has always been on the brink of destruction. In 1948, it was ridiculously on the brink of destruction. It was on the brink of destruction in 1967. People said, that's it. We're not going to be able to do anything. The Russian ambassador came to the Israeli prime minister and got him out of bed and told him, that's it, there's going to be a war very shortly, and there's nothing you can do about it. And the Israeli prime minister offered to show him around, we have no hostile intentions, we're not going to attack anybody, we don't want to attack anybody. And the Russian ambassador said, I don't care, you're finished. And shortly thereafter, Israel launched one of the most incredible operations in history, and took out the Egyptian Air Force on the ground. That very Egypt, expensive Egyptian Air Force that the Soviet Union spent a huge fortune building. They hated them. And you know why? Because Israel kept coming back. The Arabs couldn't do it even with Soviet equipment. They couldn't do it war after war after war. So they switched tactics. They went for the pity vote. They gave up trying to destroy Israel with the frontal attack and they went straight for, I am so poor, I only have this rock and this suicide bomb and this rocket on my back. What can I possibly do? Israel has to give me East Jerusalem or there'll be no peace at all.